Well, good morning, everybody. Another early day today. Waiting on my special guest to arrive. Truck looking good. I'm already hungry. Eating my peanut butter pretzels early today. We're fixing to get moving. Special guest is running late. He better hurry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my special guest of the day is Mini Curb. We got a scale house to get through here. We're trying to get through all this traffic. Shows us at uh, five minutes ahead of schedule, which is not what I prefer. But we're fighting through it. This traffic's been horrendous. I hope I get a green arrow because five minutes is not enough. So here we go, we're coming on in. chicken coop. God, look at them all pulled over there. Maybe I get lucky. They send me around. Wait on our instructions. Exit to I-4. Thank goodness. Now our arrival time is exactly our appointment time. So we cannot handle one more second of a delay. Miles. Take exit nine. Because On I do right. not Take like to be late. Alright, we made it. trailer needs to be out of the way so you can just pull up right beside it. I want to back in what I want to do. Been a dandy so far. <laughs> you want to try to pull off from right there? I think it's going to pick it and swing it and I'm going to back under it kind of. Oh, I got you.
sticking out of it is another foot that puts me too wide they're gonna set it back down re-rig it and try to point it up they said there's they said there's one on each side so we got to go take a look at it i only see one i only see one yeah there's only one yeah oh maybe he meant the top sticking out's okay because it's on the underside so we're we're 11 11 on the money be close.
Oh, that's gonna be long enough. Not even close. Boat back over. Might put the two together. first, get this tank unstrapped and unloaded, and get out of here. Yeah. That almost came off. <laughs> yeah, I had to run back. I ran back a little bit.
They ought to get it now. Thing gone. <laughs> I'll show you guys something. Hold your water up so we can read the label. Zephyr Hills. He didn't know anything about the right water to drink. Like smart water, life water, full body hydration. What does that one say? Water boy. Hydrate your way to more rewards. That's it? I mean, what are we hydrating here, folks? Huh? He does not know what's order to get. Mm. Yeah, we uh, just left Richie mm. Brothers, stopped here at the mm. racetrack mm. for a quick hydration. Mm. See, here's how you hydrate mini curb. <laughs> All the essentials are in here, man. <laughs> All the essentials are in there. All your B12s? Mm-hmm. This thing has like 737% vitamins. I'm the man in the car. How can you have more vitamins than you have liquid? How can I be more than 100%? Come on, man. I'm trying to work over here. <laughs> All right. We're leaving Richie Brothers. Oh, we've left Richie Brothers. Head to Fruitland Park, like I was saying earlier, to pick up a loader. I tell you what, man. Those guys at Richie Brothers on them front end loaders, they are like little freaking worker bees. One of them's having a little trouble. They jump on that radio and they come buzzing in from all over the place. They come flying in. Putting on different forks and different hooks. Turn left at the traffic light left hmm left I don't know why I'm saying that <clears throat> left it is I was going to go to Fruitland Park and Lake Albert so hey we're, we're ahead of the game anyway um, going to go get another one let's go drives in reverse? As far as I know, it was no. It's turned up in reverse. Let's see what it does. If it drives in reverse, we'll back it on there and we'll worry about it on the other end. Those guys got pretty big equipment. Let's see what it's got a loader coming over, but I don't know what's taking so damn long to get here. Yeah. Well, we could try to push it. If it pushes, good. We'll load it the way I want to. If it don't, we're going to back it up. Here comes the loader.
Just like that. Got young blood on the binders. Make him earn his pay. Yeah, they are a little tight in there, aren't they? They fit a lot better down. All right, they're going to have to fire this thing up in a hurry. And uh, as soon as it cranks up, it's in reverse. So they're going to have to get it fired up, get the bucket picked up how they want it, and hook to it, and get it off of there somehow. So I hear a loader running, so here they come.
Let's take it. We gotta resituate the truck. You know where it goes, man. I mean, he can gain out the way. We got break. Cause they got those parents got the key. Alright, stop. Yeah, it stops good. But that ain't far enough for you to hook up the truck. What you need to do, crank it up, turn it a little bit, and have him pull you off that way or something. Then it's gonna start backing up. You got your key up there? No. What'd you do with it? I gave it back since you had one working. Then it's give it back to him for. I thought we had one. It's a little sticky, don't break it. Oh. Hey Barry. Yes, sir. Play with it. He knows, he's, he's good at that. <laughs> get our last one of the day it's our own curb machine we got to get it moved a few miles down the road to a new job and uh pour some curb let's go Tracks coming on up, slipping, take it out of high gear. For whatever reason, when that thing's in high, no matter how slow you're crawling, it spins those tracks. Drop it low and it goes. Makes no sense. Because it's all hydraulic driven. Go Manny, go Manny, go Manny. Perfect. Look at that beautiful curb. All the inlets are tied in as we go. We never, ever, ever leave the inlets not tied in. That's just extra work having to come back, saw cut the concrete, and then tie them in by hand. A lot of wasted concrete, a lot of wasted everything. A lot of curb companies, they'll pull up here, stop, they'll jump this inlet and just keep going because they want to pour everything in two days well instead i'll do it but then they'll have to come back and spend a whole day saw cutting breaking the concrete off which you've paid for that concrete that's all the waste we had right there on this inlet tie-in that little bit right there so we don't have to saw cut it don't have to beat on it with sledgehammers we just dump a little set forms up dump a little mud in there shape it up perfect and it as we go 
everything behind us is 100 now the contractors they don't have to wait on us to come back and fiddle around with a day or two days or however many days worth of hand pouring all those inlets no sir we just walk right through it all and leave everything behind us 100 percent complete the only thing that's left out here is this roadway tie-in for whatever reason they're still figuring out they probably have to tear a bunch of that road out i'm sure they might even have to build a little turn lane in here or something who knows but uh double check here did i double check it yeah why go check it huh go check it is it loose you loosen that up You sabotaged me while I was over there. You think so? Explaining. I know you did. It was loose, man. What do y'all think? Did he sabotage me? I mean, I had that flipped up. I had that flipped up and wrapped. It was down. I smell a saboteur. I don't know. We're gonna get her backed in here and relocated. Let's go. All right. Since uh, since young Minnie here sabotaged the chain, I know he did. He seen me walking away. He just sabotaged the heck out of it. Did you check your chain? How did How did he know that? How did he know that? I checked it for you. You checked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll make him do all the work. Did you flip that down? No. Hey, did you check your valve? Ha. Kidding. So far, I did right on the chain links. That's good. I gotta go through the chains and start getting some stuff out. <clears throat> Make a little arrangement for all the new stuff. I need to uh, paint the different size, <clears throat> lengths, I meant to say, chain. We get it, we're getting there, we're getting there. I need to stop smashing fenders, you know, lots of stuff to do. That's a mess. But it was kind of a weird day. We did that poly tank. And uh, things got a little messy, especially with all those new chains going in there. Now I got way too many chains. We'll get it arranged. That's a wrap. How'd I do today, Mini Curb? Good. 
Great. All right, I had to ask you that first before <laughs> before I told you how you did. You did a good job today, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Just in case he said I did a crappy job, I was gonna say so did you. <laughs> anyway, we had a good time today together. Got a lot accomplished. A lot of miles in today. That was a big one. But uh, we got her done. And until tomorrow, we're signing out. See you tomorrow.